Hi, it's Amy again. I'm finally here with my binder. Um, I had finally gotten my twin sister, Sandra. Sorry about that. I'll put the noise right there. Let me adjust here. My twin sister, Sandra, to post her video. And her video is called, uh, her channel, I should say, is C-A-L-L-S Calls. 169. Let me write that down real quick. And I hope you'll check it out because we have two different ways of doing our videos. And um, her way is not my way, my way isn't her way. And that's just, you know, just because we're twins doesn't mean we do everything just the same. And she, of course, uh, okay, so that was a bad idea on white paper. So let's try this again. So I've already done this several times, different ways. So we'll try it again. C A L L S one six nine, and she has a video on uh, about her um, way of doing her coupon binder. So now I'm going to show you again mine. Now I think I did one other video. This one's a little bit more extensive because I'm going to show you how I cut out my coupons. And I have several more binders than she does. Um, first of all, my binder, which I got from Walmart for like eight bucks. I um, got the binder. I bought two different types of inserts. These here, which is this is a three by three um, insert, which you can see really well on this one. Okay. So it's three across and three down, and this is a baseball card holder, and they work very well for the smaller ones. And then I also have, that I got at Office Depot here in Nashville, Tennessee, a five binder. So if you look, they're bigger. The, the pockets hold the full-size coupon or the internet coupons. And I have one of those in the front to hold um, coupons that I really want to be reminded of in that section of the store. And talking about sections, my dividers are um, regular dividers, but they have pockets on either side. Again, I got these at Walmart. And most of them have a pocket on the back side and a pocket on the front side. I don't know how well you can see that. So I can stick in extra coupons like these that I have that I want to be sure to notice because these are expiring soon. No, well, no, they're not, actually. I just haven't filed them away. I guess I've been lazy, so I need to file those away. These coupons, actually, just in case you want to know, is a dollar off of Oreos when you buy a gallon of milk. And I buy a lot of gallons of milk, so, you know, not all at once, of course, but, you know, these are good for the whole year. I got these actually from eBay, and I had to laugh because you know I did pay a dollar twenty-five, I think, for twenty, and then I realized when they arrived that they were just tear pads. They weren't actual manufacturer coupons, which is fine. They weren't here; I've never seen them, so hey, you know, they work. So, anyways, um, my twin sister Sandra, if you look at her site, she does her binder. Uh, buy products like I do, but she alphabetizes hers. Mine are done by aisle, so I know you can't see it very well because of the lighting, and I'm sorry, but I just have a webcam uh, to work with at this point. But my first divider is when I walk in the store, and it's produce and then bread and condiments, okay? And then I have fresh meats after that. And then I have dairy, and I have frozen, and I have breakfast, and so on and so forth. And this is one binder, and this one binder always goes with me to the grocery store because it's all food items. Now, also in this binder in the front is a little pouch that I use for miscellaneous things, and it has zippers on it, two zippers. And then there's also a zippered compartment here, and this one just holds paper clips and um, extra coupons that i not positive I'll use, but I want to keep them up front just in case I find a good deal. And this is things like uh, vegetable steamers and things like that. Uh, some Tyson nuggets because I have a 12-year-old and of course he eats a lot of those. 
And then a pen, or a pencil, sorry. No, a pen, I'm sorry. Um, also goes up front. I also have a pocket here. In my pocket, um, I usually put, when I find the coupon that I want to use, you know, this is the coupon I'm going to use for a product that I'm buying at the store. I stick it inside the pocket. And so that way, when I get to check out, all I've got to do is reach in. Huh, get that. Found some other coupons. I didn't realize were in there. Um, pull out all the coupons and hand them to the cashier, and they're all there. So that's the first binder. And I'm going to try to go kind of quickly because I have a lot to show. This also goes with me. This little black box, it was given to me by a friend of mine at the school who's in a different program, an art program, and didn't have a need for it. And I carry in here a calculator and a pair of scissors. And then I also put in here coupons that I don't use. So when I have the other binder, and let's say I was buying, a pro or I thought I was going to buy this product, but I didn't, you know, I don't want to spend the time to put it back into the binder, so I just stick it into the box, and then these are all to be refiled, and that that works for me. So I just set all this in here. Also, I put um, loyalty cards, the store cards in here, and uh, credit cards, you know, that I don't like to carry around with me. You know, I keep those in here. Now, this one generally stays at home. And there's a lot in here. The thing is completely full. And it's the same as the other one, except for the fact that it's not set up by aisle. It's set up by product because this is uh, hair products and cleaning products. Everything you would probably more likely get at CVS and Walgreens and Rite Aid. Okay, from the drug stores. Because you never know what they're going to have on sale or for special or whatever. So then again, here it is. I'm going to try to give you a good view of the uh, dividers. Okay. There you are. And the dividers are cleaning supplies and Febreze because there's a lot of Febreze coupons out there all the time. So I have a lot of the Febreze. Uh, bathroom cleaners, soaps, laundry, dishwashing, glade, skin, air wick, mouth, hair, makeup, razors, you know, on and on. And it's set up the same as kind of like the first one. Um, in the back, I have miscellaneous all the way in the back, which are just the things that I really don't have a place to put. And this is things like batteries. And uh, just things that kind of go, well, it could be, but it couldn't be, not too certain, so I just stick it in the back here. And so that's that binder. This one usually doesn't go with me unless I'm going to Walgreens. And then I'll leave it in the car and then bring it out um, later. This is my third binder. I told you I had more than my twin sister did, boy. Anyways, this is a binder that also always goes with me, and it will go with me even more than the other two binders because this is my store binders, my store binder, not binders, no S on the end, and how I sort this, still the same process as this one and the other one, only this one is the free, is up front, so there's a free bag of ruffles and free, um, veggie patch and free um, pasta and that goes up front and then it's separated as you can't see by the stores I don't know if you can see those or not I'm hoping you can so the stores are labeled so the first one which is my favorite is Kroger and I have their coupon policy Walgreens and then I have Walgreens coupon policy in here uh, you should always take the policies with you and then I have extra coupons, uh, the Walgreens coupons that are good for this month that I took out because they're ones that I know I'm going to use. I'll put those up front to remind myself really especially that those are ones I want. And these are just coupons that are on sale this week. Not the coupons are on sale, the products are. And so I put those to where I can find them easily. I've already matched them to the circular. Okay, so those are all there. 
CVS, Friday, Food Lion, Walmart, Target. And, oh, did I already take them out? I did. Usually I have the Target coupons separate from the manufacturer. I'll have the Target up front and then the manufacturer right behind it, but I guess I need to redo that because obviously I've used them all, so I need to probably work on that this week. Um, so this is the coupon binders I wanted to show you. Now the other thing I want to show you real quick, if I possibly can, without creating a second video. Oh, and I think I'm just going to do a second video probably. No, I'm not. Hopefully not. I'm going to take, and I'm going to put you down a little bit. Okay, so you can see this. Three circulars, all red plum, all the same. I'm mailing this to my sister, and I want to help her out by not leaving her to have to clip all these herself and staple them. So what I do is I put them all out like this, which is just like you just saw. Page one down, page the second one on top of that one, so I see the same of all three. And then you're just going to take the first pages off like this. Okay, so this one happens to be my favorite one that I used in an earlier video that came from Red Plum, which is the beef. If you buy one beef product, or no, I'm sorry, if you buy one rice, Ben's, Uncle Ben's rice, you um, can get a dollar off of beef scissors out here, so we have scissors in the box, and all I'm going to do is take my stapler, staple this, that's $8 I've invested for a stapler, and then I'm just simply going to cut this coupon out. Now usually I will just go ahead and staple all of the, first of all I go and just separate all the pages first, and if it's a page that's double, like the middle one, like this one, I just stack them on top of each other. Make sure there's none in the middle, because I don't want to cut them through the middle if there's a middle coupon. And then I just simply take the stapler and staple it here at the bottom here, where there's one, and there's one at the top. And there's not one on this back side, so I'm just going to tear it off and throw it away. And then I did find one on the other side. So I'll staple that. And again, just to show you, and I would usually do this in the process of first stacking everything and then stapling everything and then cutting everything. But I'm just trying to show you in one video how I do it. So I do this and then I make two stacks. One with the edible coupons, not that you're going to eat the coupons, that it's food, and one of non-edible coupons, meaning things like these that you don't eat, you're not going to eat hair dye. And then I just simply make two different stacks of those two types of coupons, and then I sort, file, and put them away. And so that's how I do that, and Sandra, I'm getting busy with yours, I will have them in the mail um, in just a few hours. Um, happy birthday. Um, I love you. I hope your birthday is a great day. I wish I could be in Illinois to celebrate it with you. And um, I'm very happy you're my twin sister. Okay? I love you very much.